Well, take a look at this. My little potato even grew into my box. Crazy, huh? Look at this. Doesn't this look a little scary? Yep, these are all sprouts off of my potatoes that I kept all winter long for my last summer's garden. I cooked up the big potatoes and kind of left these little small guys for spring so that they would sprout up and be ready to go in the garden to start my potato garden again for this summer. Wow, look at how long these things got. Huge. Now, I don't usually let them get this long before I plant them, but we had some massively cold snow come in, 26 degrees at the end of May, and I just um, didn't think it would be good to put these in the soil that early with those storms. So they're actually out in this box longer than I had planned. Usually I put these in mid-May, but here we are. The end of May after the snow's done, I think we are finally finished with the cold weather. So I'm going to go ahead and put these guys in to my trash cans that I grow potatoes in every year. You can see here, this is one of my trash cans and I have a little PVC watering grid that I've set up. I have about 20 of these guys. So today I'm going to be planting these potatoes into the trash can. Well, hello garden friends, it's Christy here with greenlivingoffgrid.com. And right now I am just about to plant my potato plants. Now something that I like to do is to start with potatoes that have sprouted. Now this is a little bit more crazy than I usually let them get to. If, I, uh, if I'm going to plant these normally, I like the sprouts about half the size that they are right now. But like I said, we got delayed in getting these in the ground. So it's going to be an adventure getting these in the ground. But all I'm going to do right now is just dig out these bins where I put some horse manure in last fall so that it provides a mulch layer and nutrition and extra nutrients for these potatoes. So I'm just going to dig down to the dirt level in these and then I'm going to plant one to two of these in each trash can, not more than two. Uh, because I find that if you plant more than two in each trash can, they will overcrowd each other and you'll end up with only small potatoes rather than the nice big large ones that I like to grow. So one to two per trash can is all you need when you're starting potatoes. All right, well, I'm planting one small potato and then a nice large one next to it. I'll go ahead and on the other side of the bin. I'm only going to put two in, but I'll, I'll start with, you know, medium sized potato with that small one. And I think that's a good way to pair these up. We should be able to accommodate a couple plants that way. Getting these roots in is kind of tricky when they're this far sprouted. So I'm just going to kind of work the roots into the soil here along the edge. And we'll just see what they do. And we'll go ahead and cover them up. Definitely a challenge when they sprout this long. We'll work it into the soil like that. There it goes. So on the and the manure. Which like I said, as you can see, it provides a really nice mulch for these guys. So that'll help keep them more moist. Alright, on to the next bin. Pull out our two potatoes we're gonna do. This one would be nice. Get him untangled. And we'll go, yeah, I think this one's a good little small one. So that one with that one. Move these guys to the next bin. Just don't take it with you. All right, so yeah, approximately this spacing is what you want. One, kind of a few inches from the side here and one on this side and then wrap those, we'll wrap these little roots kind of around in the soil underneath the mulch. Well, here are my potato plants. As you can see, they've been growing up here and we even have some little flowers growing on them. They're doing really well in these bins. 
As you can see, I have my little watering grid set up. This is, um, I just created it with the PVC pipes and some little garden to hose thread adapters here, right here, and I put a little sprayer on the end. Works pretty good. I'm able to water four buckets at a time using this little watering grid. As you can see here. So that's how I water all my potatoes quickly. Give them a few minutes in each bin. But yeah, everything is growing really well. I'm pretty pleased with how these potatoes are doing. Let's see, uh, all of them are coming up. And just developing really well. And one thing you'll have to watch for as, uh, as your plants are growing, the potatoes will generally start to surface in the soil. So you want to watch down at the base of the plants to see if any potatoes are, are surfacing. And if they come up, you'll want to um, add some more mulch or uh, dirt on top just to keep the green from getting uh, developing on them. If they get too much sunlight, they'll develop a green spot. And that green spot is actually toxic. So, so just keep an eye on your potatoes as they're growing. And if any potatoes start to surface down at the base, then just cover them up. So you keep the light off of them and they will grow uh, pretty large in this setup. I really like how they turn out with these trash cans because they're able to get all of the, uh, all of the room to grow with a soft soil, having potting soil in my manure compost. It just makes for a very soft and gentle soil for them to grow in and they grow nice and large in my potato bins. And they're very easy to harvest because that soil is so, so easy to move around and, and uh, just grab those potatoes and dig them out when you're ready to harvest. Well, thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and check us out at greenlivingoffgrid.com.